In the greatest monster quest of my career, I've travelled hundreds of miles through one of the world's last true wildernesses to discover a secret lake, home to a river monster. Its behaviour under the surface tells me it's likely to be one of my greatest adversaries. Fish on! Fish on! The Arapaima. It's not coming quietly. Dennis keeps an eye out for other dangers. An unstable canoe and a curious caiman could prove interesting. Out here, in this extreme isolation, I can't help but wonder if this beast is perhaps different from the Brazilian Arapaima, with which I'm familiar. But right now, all that links me to what could be the greatest catch of my life is a slender fishing line. big to try and haul it into the boat, so we're going to work it towards the water's edge. But if it tangles in any of these trees, the game is over, and there's the added excitement of the resident caiman, which has still got its eye on me. But this is it. This is why I'm here, if I can just get it in. As soon as, I, as soon as I grab this, can I give you the rod? Okay. I've caught the monster of the lost lake. I knew it. Monsters do exist in this place. Wonderful, deep-bodied Arapaima. It's the crowning glory of the greatest and most extraordinary monster hunt of my career. Never have I encountered so many monsters in just one river system. <laughs> but this catch could hold an even greater surprise. The Arapaima of the Essequibo are so remote and isolated from the Amazonian population that I can't help but think that these fish could potentially be a new species. So I take a scale. It won't harm the fish, but it will contain the DNA that could prove it's new to science. Yeah, yeah. Then I release my prize, back to where it came from. Oh, good, lovely, 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 and it's going. Yeah. It's amazing to think that so many monsters exist out here, but their presence is so important. In many people's books, a monster is something that makes you frightened, but what makes me really frightened is the idea of a world where the monsters have all gone. Because when that has happened, it's a sign that the world's wild frontiers are no more. But with their guardians, the Makushi, there is hope for the survival of the monsters of the Essequibo. And this journey that started with two brothers, for me, it now feels more like three. The Brotherhood of Fishermen. For them to reveal their secrets to me has been a great honor. This place will live long in my memory. And it occurs to me that in my desire to find the hidden monsters of this lost world, one was with me every step of my way. The river itself. <laughs> <laughs> 